Hello everyone. This video is going to provide you with a brief overview of how to format the template that is provided for you in the Canvas course shell. So this would be the template that you would download under the files that are provided on Canvas, either under the essay assignment description or under the resources available to you. So when you open up and download this file, this is what you're going to see here. And so essentially you're going to be um, replacing a lot of this information with your information. So I wanted to begin by starting from the top. And so you'll notice here that you have to have your last name and page number. So you're gonna wanna double click just as I did here. This uh, information is gonna pop up. The page number is already in there. And so you will just want to highlight that part and incorporate your last name. And then you can just hit close header. In the instance that you accidentally delete this, so let's go back for a second. Uh, you can always go up here where it says page number. So you'll click on that, click on top of page, and then you're gonna notice you'll want it on the right hand side. So just like this, okay? Now um, you wanna make sure that the different first page is unchecked, okay? Otherwise it's going to mess up your formatting. So if you also wanna make this the same uh, font, make sure it's Times New Roman. You also wanna make sure that it's 12 point font. And then we'll once again, um, just add our last name and a space, and then you are good to go. What that will show you is that it will automatically repeat this section for you without you having to insert it yourself. Make sure that it is up in the header. Next, you are going to incorporate your first and last name or the name in which you wish to be uh, referred by. So make sure all of that is here please leave my name here. So I've already included the correct spelling. There are many times in which students will try to do this without the template, which is fine, but make sure that my name is uh, spelled correctly. Then you will notice that you have the class name right here. So with the class name there, you're just going to add what class you're in. So whether it's 100, 101, 102, so you'll just simply add it to here. I'm just gonna use 100 for a second. And so this is what um, it will look like for you, okay? Now, with that being said, uh, you have the next section, which is the date, month, and year. So the day is gonna be the day that you are to submit the assignment. So let's say it's on the 31st. The month is going to be May. If you have a longer month name, whether it be September or whatever, so you could just do this if you wish, or you could spell out the whole month. It's up to you. And then the year is going to be whatever the year is at the time, okay? So um, you'll notice here, there shouldn't be a, a any additional spaces. So I mentioned this before, this should just be one standard space uh, or double space, I should say. Um, and you'll want to make sure that it is just like this, okay? Now, the title of your paper is going to go here as an example. So you have to make sure that you are capitalizing the title um, of your um, your essay. OK, there are times where I, st I have students who will just capitalize the first ti uh, the first word and then everything else is not capitalized. So make sure it is capitalized correctly. If you are referencing anything, or let's say you wanna emphasize something, let's say you wanna emphasize paper, right? So you'll just put uh, quotation marks here, but they don't necessarily have to happen there, for example. Uh, so if you are not emphasizing anything, you don't need to. Another way to emphasize, let's say, cause you're trying to be ironic or something, you can also italicize, um, it's up to you. But the italics is generally used for when you're referencing other works. Um, so for example, let's say you were writing a paper, uh, an analysis of a, a book. Okay. So you could say something like, um, so in this case I had to italicize, um, to kill a mockingbird. 
uh, because it is the name of the book. And so I want to make sure that I am highlighting that. So whatever the case is, uh, you'll have that information there. So next, again, there should not be any spaces at all whatsoever. Um, it should just hit return. And because this is already established in double space, uh, you have that there available for you. Make sure that you are also indenting. So for each new paragraph, there is going to be an indent. Um, and that should just be you hitting the tab button. It should already be set up. So let's say, for instance, I'm ready to write. I could just hit the tab button here. So if you were going to type over this, a good way to do it is just to delete this information. Um, we're going to move Works Cited down here for a second. Um, so if you were beginning to write, so let me get this out of the way. And then I hit return. And then I'm just going to hit tab and begin writing my paper here. Okay. Now, make sure that, again, to double check if you are writing in double space, you could click up here. It is already in double space. This template is already structured for that, okay? So if you are having any issues, make sure to go back up there. Uh, if there's any issues with formatting in general, you want to just make sure all this is at zero. If there's any changes, you'll just make sure all of this is at zero, and then it's going to make sure that it's formatted correctly, okay? Now then, uh, the Works Cited page should be a page on its own. I am going to create a video dedicated to the Works Cited page specifically, but since we're talking about template, this is what it should look like here. Okay, so let's walk through a couple of things. So first and foremost, you'll see that Works Cited is capitalized just like this. Okay, uh, you're not going to bold face, so no bold. Uh, you'll want to stay away from that no underline either okay so there's no emphasis on anything it's just going to be exactly as you see it here uh there are no extra spaces as well so you'll notice that it's just a quick once return and then you'll be good so you'll notice that first and foremost that everything here is alphabetical order uh, i'll emphasize this in the works cited video as well uh, and that's going to be alphabetized by the first letter so whether it's a name an article title whatever the case is that's how you're going to alphabetize it you'll also notice that we have what's called an hanging indent here okay so the first entry is not indented but the second parts or in the, all the information that goes along with this one is going to be indented this is called hanging indent please watch the video on how to create hanging indents the different ways that you can do that um, I'm also going to talk about you know what you're looking at here which is you know you see italics you see numbers this is all going to be explained in the works cited page as well but for right now this is the structure okay so there should not be any different of font difference of font excuse me there should not be any change in font size everything should remain the same and lastly works cited page is on its own page absolutely okay so let's say for instance that you have uh, one and a half pages then this would be considered your third page so make sure it's always on the very last page with none of your essay writing at all and that it's at the top of the page okay so once again this template is available for you to download you could just you know remove the information it's just helpful to have everything set up already if you have any questions feel free to ask me uh, but overall this should set you up for establishing an appropriate mla works cited format.